Hi everyone and welcome back for another City Skylines tutorial. My name is Sam Burr and today I'm collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring a tutorial all about modding your downtown. There are many different ways you can mod your downtown area to make it look realistic and just awesome. To build a great downtown area, I firstly recommend allocating a space as your city centre like I've done here. This area will be the heart of your city, where it's the most busiest and full of shops, stalls, seating areas and gardens. Ideally, you'll also find your public transport nearby for easy accessibility. In terms of zoning, the downtown area, it is going to be loud and busy, so it's better to place mostly commercial and offices in this area and put the residential a little further away from the noise. When you go into a downtown area, you will find small shop fronts basically wherever you go. So I recommend putting in lots of these in busy areas for easy shopping and to make it look lively. Something else I love doing and highly recommend is making a mixed use building which looks like this. Commonly in downtown areas you'll see mixed use buildings which consists of commercial on the ground level and offices on top and you can actually make these. For this you will need the Fine Road Anarchy mod enabled. Firstly place down any low commercial building found in the Find It mod and then also select an office building and then you can simply place that office building on top. I also recommend making these buildings historical so they don't level up or down. These mixed use buildings they really do look awesome and actually function whilst saving space. And you can use this same technique to create larger buildings in general. But what if you want to brighten up those commercial and office buildings? You can place billboards and basically any prop you want on any building. For this you will need the prop tree anarchy and prop snapping mods enabled. So if we go into the find it mod and search billboards you'll find several already in the game. To place them on a building simply select a billboard and then you can place it directly onto any building. You can place them literally anywhere on the building and place as many as you want. While on the topic of buildings, you should also take note of the spacing between buildings. In my opinion, a downtown looks most realistic when it consists of a good mixture of low, medium and high density buildings, just so it doesn't look overcrowded. Alright, now that we have all of these people here, where do they park their car? Having street parking basically adds an extra element to your city and makes it look more alive. You can download a whole bunch of parking lot mods on the workshop, but I'll show you how to actually make them. To do this, you'll need to download an asset pack from the workshop called Parking Lot Roads. Once you find them in the roads menu, you'll notice you have several different size roads. Simply select the size and draw it out like a normal road. Next, you'll need to place down the actual parking row, but make sure they are aligned and place them on both sides. And that's basically all you have to do. After that, they'll automatically start using them. And lastly, since there is going to be a lot of people walking by, I'd recommend adding in many different walkways going in all directions. And especially direct access routes to public space, public transport and tourist attractions, but also bridges going over the main roads and you could even try using pedestrian friendly roads. Okay everyone, that's all from me Samba. Hopefully all of these tips have helped you create a lively and vibrant new downtown. Don't forget to subscribe to the official City Skylines YouTube channel and check out the other awesome tutorials.